Welcome to another vlog. Today I need to reset my life. Whenever I get home from traveling, even if it's for literally one day, the day after I have the worst mental health day. And I don't know why, I haven't been able to figure it out. I'm really mean to myself the day after I get back from traveling. We're gonna hop back into a routine because I need to build a good one. Whoa. I need to build a good one before vlogmas starts, which is so crazy how soon that is, you guys. Like, by the time you're watching this, it's probably in, like, a week. How has that even happened? I don't know where this year has gone. I can't believe how long I've already lived in Florida again. We just need to reset our lives today. I need to do some self-care. I will show you my house. It's not... It's been worse. It just needs things to be put away and just tidied up. I want to share something with you guys that I'm kind of scared to talk about and share just because I'm afraid of people judging me. I've made some decisions for my health recently. It has changed the way my life looks a little bit. I don't know. We're just gonna hang out. We're gonna reset. Andrew is here today because it's a Wednesday. Wednesdays are our podcast filming days. I pretty much just talk about the podcast all the time. And I would say sorry, but I'm not. We've put a lot of effort into this podcast and we're actually having a lot of fun doing it. And today we're filming the last two episodes before we take our like winter break. So we'll have episodes that will go up weekly until the 11th, I believe. And then we'll take a couple of weeks off for Christmas and New Year's and then we'll hop back into it in January and hopefully hopefully I either have a house or a studio or something for us to film the podcast in because filming it in this apartment with the lights and the windows and the noise from that stupid concert venue has been really difficult but honestly it's just the first season we're working the kinks out I need to wake Andrew up at some point I woke up and I filmed a video that I had to film for a TikTok sponsor I edited it I edited why is that word so difficult for me to say I edited it, submitted it. I do have some other work things to do. I'm trying to become financially responsible, which I've been saying for God knows how long to you. And essentially, I hired a business manager. I have a social media manager, but I hired a business manager to like control all of my finances and force me to be on a budget and invest my money and do better things with my money. I have to print off some paperwork to sign my life away and give to them. What else do I have to do? Film the podcast, clean up the house, put up my Christmas tree. I'm not gonna decorate it though. I'm saving that for Vlogmas. Let's take a shower. Seems like a good place to start this reset. We can all get a little stinky sometimes, but that's not something we have to worry about thanks to today's sponsor, Lush. And I don't know if you guys have smelt Snow Fairy, but it is so good. It makes sense why it's a fan favorite. The shower gel and the bath bombs are two of Lush's year-round bestsellers, but keep in mind, they're only available during the holidays. And because of that, they launched the biggest Snow Fairy range Lush has ever had. The Lush inventors have your back. They came up with everything that you could ever need, and they're delivering it to you in snow fairy scents. We're talking bath bombs, foaming scrubs, melts, and so much more. The whole snow fairy range is vegan and all of Lush's shimmering glitter and sparkle is plastic free from ethical sources. So you can like, glam up guilt free. I can still smell the scent on my skin. You guys have to click the link in my description to shop the snow fairy collection. I promise you're not gonna regret it. It's shot day. You might be wondering, what shot are you talking about? I've I've made this is I've talked I've made three videos of me trying to explain to you guys what I'm doing. I went and got labs done because I knew that my PCOS was not doing well. My body is just not doing well, I can tell, because I've been binging so much ever since I got off of my ADHD medication. I did not realize how much Vyvanse helped me with my eating disorder as well as my ADHD, and so I haven't had any ADHD medication since I moved here, essentially. Maybe I was able to get it once or twice after I moved. I've been raw dogging it. Like a month or so ago, maybe it was me turning 25, and I just got scared that if I don't do something Thing now. I'm gonna waste my whole 20s. I want to have kids in a few years. Not right now. I'm not getting any younger. But I was just curious. I needed to get a new primary care doctor. I needed to see what was 
going on in here internally because I have such bad, is it like a hypochondriac where you think you have everything wrong with you? Maybe that's the wrong word. I knew I needed to start going to the doctor. I go to the dermatologist consistently and I had a really scary spot on the back of my back. So go get your moles checked and wear sunscreen. I needed a primary care physician here in Florida, especially because I'm gonna be living here for a while. I won't be in this apartment. I wanna get a house, but I'm gonna be in this area. So I need to get a doctor. I did, I had to get labs. Let's just say those labs didn't come back so great. I'm exposing myself a little bit. I've always shared everything with you guys, sometimes too much, but in the past year, I feel like I've become a lot more to myself and I kept a lot more things to myself. And so I could easily keep this to myself. I feel like we've passed that awkward stage where we kind of know each other, but we kind of don't. I feel like we are genuinely best friends and I'm sitting on FaceTime when I talk to you guys. And this is not something I'd keep from my friends. This is not something I would keep from my family. If this goes the direction that we want it to, it's gonna be obvious that something is going on. I would rather just be honest about it and not lead you guys in any kind of way that is, I don't know, wrong. I want to be fully transparent about anything that I do to myself, to my body, anything. Getting this blood work back, it was kind of scary. I haven't been treating my body right for years. My eating disorder has been bad for years. It was the first time that it showed in my blood work, if that makes sense. It was the first time that my body was showing physical signs of harm from what I had been doing to it. We talked back and forth about it a lot and I don't know why I'm so scared. I don't want weight loss surgery. That's really scary to me. It's super permanent. I have really shitty luck and so many things can go wrong, but it, I have to lose weight. Like I need to get some of this weight off of my body and I need help with my eating disorder. If I can't have my ADHD medication, I need help in some other type of way alongside therapy, of course. You need to go to therapy. We have decided on a GLP-1 medication. I've always been an advocate for loving your body where you are right now. It's something that I've struggled with a ton. Where I have not agreed necessarily with the body positivity community 100%, I can't tell you that it's okay to be in my specific body because I know how I treat my body. I know it's not healthy. I have seasons of my life where I am very healthy, on track of working out, eating better, not ordering fast food. But for the most part, I know that I binge all the time. I treat my body like shit. I don't move enough. That's how I got here. I'm not somebody who gained weight because there is something genetically wrong with my body that it doesn't process food. I am somebody that gained weight because I ate a lot of it. Now I do have PCOS, which probably doesn't help. For the most part, it's this girl's fault. So I can't sit here and tell you that it's healthy to be me because I know that it's not. I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself. This is something that I'm doing for my health, for my future babies, just so weird to say, but I'm 25. I have to start thinking about that kind of stuff. They put me on Monjuro, I believe. Today I'm gonna take my third shot. It's the lowest dose. It works really good for about three or four days. And then the last three days of the week are just me fighting my inner thoughts. I'm gonna make a whole video about that. That's not what this video is about, but I am gonna show you my day and I don't wanna hide things from you. Actually moving into Vlogmas, I don't wanna have to hide things from you. Obviously you can have your opinions. You don't have to agree with everything that I do. I just ask that you are kind and you are gracious because I will always promise to be that way towards you. I'm kind of scared to tell you about it, but I am on the lowest dose. I'll move up a dose next month, but then I'm gonna try and stay on that next dose for as long as I can because I don't wanna just start getting on a super high dose and then it not working anymore. This also is not me telling you to go do this to lose weight. This is the decision I made with my doctors. If you're struggling with similar things to me, you can talk to yours. I can't even tell you that it 100% works because I have not been on it long enough. I needed to get that out there because I just <laughs> had to say something. I'm gonna drink this entire thing of water before I consume anything else. I need to make breakfast. I got this pan yesterday from Target. Look, you can just poke the stuff out of it and we're gonna make little egg bites. I don't believe I've ever attempted to make these before. Easy little grab and grow, grow. <laughs> I need easy grab and go food, especially for days that I'm like super hungry. This medicine does help with your appetite, but like I said, the dose that I'm on isn't keeping me not hungry all week, if that makes sense. I need to have food that I can grab. I also have been doing factor a lot. I feel better now that I got that out there. It wasn't a secret, like I just started it and I haven't been vlogging that much. <sighs> I'm afraid to let anybody down, but at the end of the day, I have to choose me. And I know what that blood work said. I'm not diabetic, I wanna put that out there, but I was too close to diabetic to not do something about it at 25. I do know that it just got approved for weight loss by the FDA. Diabetes runs in both sides of my family. Like I said, I'm gonna make a separate video documenting that whole process. Dobby never used to do that until Snickers died. And now he goes up on the fridge all the time. How cute are these Christmas pajamas that I got from Target yesterday? I was telling Andrew that I'm gonna go through my dress 
dresser, which I have to get rid of and get a new dresser. It is falling apart. I want to go through my drawers and get rid of all of my like mismatched pajamas. I need a pajama refresh. I love matching pajamas. I love throwing on a set when it comes to pajamas. All of my shit is all over the place, so I can never find the sets. Or I just hold on to... Uh, I might be a hoarder, if I'm being honest. I feel like I have sentimental attachments to my pajamas and my clothes and my things, and I do get rid of them. I'm able to do so, but it makes me sad. It shouldn't make me sad. I'm gonna start replacing a lot of my old pajamas for some new ones that actually are cute little sets. And this one is from Target. The print, it's little Christmas trees, and they're so soft, a thin little shirt. What was I about to do? I missed my ADHD medication. What was I about to do? No, make breakfast? No. I know. Don't judge me. Something I have never struggled with is constipation. And one of the side effects for the medication that I'm on is constipation. Pretty much the only side effects that I've had other than random nausea. When I Googled it, it told me to have more fiber. So we're gonna start the day off with Beta Fiber. I took this a few times and it wasn't really working. Oops. So I got Miralax, which by the way is expensive. I don't know if Miralax is safe to take daily. I'm gonna try the Miralax today because I haven't taken it before. Is this how you measure it? That's a lot. That's a shit ton. That's vile. Cheers to being able to go to the bathroom. Okay. I'm just doing stuff like this make me nauseous. I can't do anymore. Hopefully that was enough. How are you this morning? What about you? I'm forcing Andrew, there he is, to come on a walk with me. We're gonna take the dogs out for a little tiny stroll just before we start working. Hi. You seem like you're ready to go. I'm gonna have breakfast. Who wants to go for a walk? Technically, as soon as like hot rocks, it's like brushing your teeth. Yeah, pops all the plaque off. The sweater I'm wearing is Nike Buff Bunny Biker Shorts, Nike Metcons. Someone gives a book. Berries, berries, and cream. We stopped after our walk and got some coffee. And then I went downstairs to get my factor box. I need to reset my fridge. How are ya? A buff bunny package was downstairs and I feel as though I'm gonna be really excited about what's in here. They sent me so much. Soft, scrunchy, feel that. Mm-hmm. The Lux Bralette in black. I'm an athlete there or an affiliate. So I'm definitely not an athlete. They send you packages to like post videos on and stuff. And I get to try it out first because there's a lot of stuff that just doesn't fit me because of the way my body is. And I get to try it out before I actually tell you to buy it. I'm not just telling you to buy shit that you're not going to like. It's a bralette. I love the material of this, but I'm not sure I'm going to like it. Let me explain why. Do you see how thin that, how thin that is right there? My little fat pouch right here is just going to go and sit on top of it. Impact legging black quartz print. I think I already have these. So I'm gonna add these to my giveaway pile. I'm starting to like stack up a PR giveaway section of my house over there. Exposed mesh jacket. Honestly, for when I wanna wear long sleeves but it's hot as shit, this would work. Ooh, see, this sports bra I'm gonna like. You see how much thicker this is versus this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lux long sleeve crop this is so soft. I've had this material before. You have to wash it before you wear it because it bleeds all over you if you don't. Ooh, another bolero. Oh, it's a hoodie one. It's like this. You can see your cute bra with a soft hood. These look nice. Andrew, just come feel. With my cheesy fingers or the not cheesy The not cheesy ones. Oh. Do you guys remember their overalls? Black overalls. But they're like stretchy and they like cinch in your waist to make you actually look cute versus frumpy overalls. That's what I got. Thanks, Buff Bunny. I just spend so much money on their food, but it's so good. It is good. I have it in my fridge right now. I've only ever had two like, recipes that I've tried that I haven't been a huge fan of, but they've always been me going out of my comfort zone. Or I forget to pick my meals. Pasta ones are so good. Yes. They're creamy. And the penne with chicken. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Sweet and tangy barbecue ground pork with roasted potatoes and green beans. Oh, that cannot be me. I think I got this for Gerald. Chipotle, chipotle okay. queso chicken. I'm sorry, working at Chili's. People mispronouncing chipotle. Everyone says chipotle. chipotle. I want to make a TikTok about this. Why does everyone say chipotle? Everyone. There is a whole chain called Chipotle, but yet no one can say Chipotle sauce. 
Potato leek mash and grilled chicken. Shredded chicken taco bowl. This one That's slaps. my favorite. Yeah, we get that one every time. That's like, we always get that one and then we start. So good. There. Herb Greek chicken and tomato penne. That's so good. Cheesy chicken and broccoli casserole. Have that you had it? Good. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this one does not look very good. Is that stuffing on the side? Monterey spinach chicken with sun dried tomato alfredo and cauliflower <laughs> gratin. And then the last one is stuffed pepper casserole. I've never had this one and I was excited. It's good. I quite literally literally eat two of these a day, most days. <laughs> Whoa. This here, and you let's- like the view? No, my pancake is. <laughs> load up the fridge. Put a load in it. Put a load in her. <laughs> okay, you didn't have to say her. Fits perfect. Yeah! Oh my God. Okay, we're not gonna attack the vacuum today. <laughs> Casserole. I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting on my meal to cook. It feels so good to be clean from the shower. And I'm somebody who has to throw on pajamas when I get out of the shower. I don't know why. Hot. Yeah. Why won't it? It should not be this hard. I normally eat it straight out of the container because less dishes. I feel like putting it in a bowl. Feels more home cook. <laughs> smells good. Oh no, I'm dropping beans. And then we have green beans. Add a little salt and a little pepper. That is pretty good. That looks like a freshly cooked meal. That looks fancy. Once again, we are set up for the podcast. I'm gonna let these fully cool off before I put them in this container and wrap them up to put them in the fridge. I have breakfast for the next five days. And you'll still order Chick-fil-A. Not Chick-fil-A. Oh, yes. What's wrong with it? It not in these jeans. These jeans flatten it like a pancake. Let me know if you wipe the top of your can off before you drink it or open it because Andrew and Gerald do it and I don't. So I'm trying to figure out if it's an OCD thing that they do or if I'm gross. I think you're gross. Alani came out with mini cans that are only 100 milligrams of caffeine, which means half the anxiety. I didn't finish my coffee this morning. Not shocking. We're all set up. We're ready to go. We're gonna film episode nine of the podcast. Oh even though I can hear the concert starting. <laughs> I cannot wait to not live here anymore. Not because I'm not grateful, but because I can't stand living on top of a concert venue. Andrew's gonna help me. I've been such a wimp about this every single time. There's simply no way you're gonna be a wimp this time. What if I am a wimp? I always forget, do I take my thing off and then take it off or take it off then take it off? We take this off, open it. What would you genuinely do if I just gave this to myself quick? I would charge you. Here's my belly. I would give you 250 for one of these. For one week. Like before vacation or something? Before red carpet? Ready? Click twice. You know? I know, but this was to count to 10. Oh, we never did that. You learn new things. Okay, that's good. Or maybe a little longer. I just Your like skin's gonna grow around it. It wasn't the baby with that one. No, yeah, that was a lot easier on me. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking the same thing. Yes, I am. Oh. You have a pedgy. <laughs> Stuck in my belly. <laughs> I cannot believe it's already Christmas. It's the most wonderful time. wait for the grand reveal to turn it on. Okay. I know people love real trees. But I can't keep a cactus alive, let alone a Christmas tree. It's kind of tall. Oh my 
I gotta reach the top? Why is it so wobbly? No, Dobby, get out of the tree. I'm not already. <laughs> this looks so much smaller in Walmart. What do we think? It's kind of crooked. Moment of truth. Yes! Dobby, no! Guys, what am I supposed to do? We fluffed her up a little bit more. But you guys, it's that time of the year. I could go to my storage unit and replace all of these frames with my Christmas ones. I haven't decided if I'm gonna yet. I also could go get my Christmas rug, but I probably won't. We're just gonna bring Christmas into the apartment. Coming to you straight from my couch, just to remind you guys to go click the link in my description or use the QR code to shop the Snow Fairy collection at Lush. I used it again this morning and I still smell like it it's 10 p.m once again thank you to lush for sponsoring this video and i'll see you guys so soon